lifted in the air to center field. Aswahe into shallow center. He can't get there as it falls in. And the throw will go to second as they get to force out. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. The 3 2 pitch. Is it very well to right? This one's hammered and it's going to go. That one is gone. home run here off the bat of Eric Hosmer. Second home run early in the year and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. Yeah we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game and he does just that blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice they're going to be swinging with the wood here no better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates base not the way he wanted to start this outing the one one pitch but this is speared by the first baseman and he'll take it to the bag for the out and there's your unassisted double play ready Alvin. there we go got him swinging the throw Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Don't touch that remote more. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. And it's not in time. He's safe as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Man, they already hit one home run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right Once again, a 3-2. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Brandon Belt has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. Nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Giants leave a couple. They're down 5-1. to one. The 3-2 one more time. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Leaping and he makes a terrific catch as he bangs into the wall. And to score is the runner from third. It's six to one. Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you've got to love the effort out there. Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Probably saved extra. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More in a... Last strike here for the Giants. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The San Diego Padres jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Luis Perdomo earns the win his second.
Chris Stratton couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. The final line score of our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Six runs.